17 News is your local election headquarters. Bakersfield Congressman Kevin McCarthy has endorsed the candidate challenging Wyoming's Liz Cheney in her bid for re-election to Congress. It's the latest salvo in a tinge here between McCarthy and his one-time political ally. 17's Maddie Gannon has more. It's been a heated year between Cheney and Republicans in Congress. As the leader of the GOP in the House, how to handle that falls on Bakersfield's own Kevin McCarthy. We're taking a look at how that's progressed. One year ago this month. Liz Cheney, our conference chair, um, who just got a resounding shot in the arm. Bakersfield Congressman Kevin McCarthy stood in solidarity with Republican Wyoming Rep Liz Cheney. It was directly after she defeated an effort to remove her as the GOP's conference chair for voting to impeach former President Donald Trump. It's just an example, this Republican Party is a very big tent, everyone's invited in. But as the year wore on, Cheney's criticism of the former president grew. President Trump's supreme dereliction of duty. Members of McCarthy's House GOP pushed back on keeping Cheney in her leadership seat, something the House Minority Leader shared on Fox News in May. I have heard from members concerned about her ability to carry out the job as conference chair, to carry out the message. We all need to be working as one. Just days later came the successful vote to oust the Wyoming rep. Elise Stefanik and welcome, welcome her to the leadership team. Then in July, Cheney accepted a seat on the panel investigating the January 6th Capitol attack. Well, I was shocked that she would accept something from Speaker Pelosi. It would seem to me, as since I didn't hear from her, maybe she's closer to her than us. Just two weeks ago, the Republican National Committee censured Cheney for her position on the panel. McCarthy was asked what he thought of the RNC's decision. I think there's a reason why, at the end of the day, Liz would have a hard time going here if she were. I don't think she would. But she is running, and it all leads up to Thursday, with McCarthy endorsing Harriet Hageman, Donald Trump's pick for Wyoming's only congressional district. But I would bet McCarthy said Wyoming deserves a representative that will not work closely with Pelosi. Kern's other congressman, David Valadeo, also voted to impeach. McCarthy has supported him and even endorsed him for 2022. In Southwest Bakersfield, Maddie Gannon, 17 News.